Good morning everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. My name is Shelly, if anyone's new here, and this is going to be my summer morning routine. I'm so excited because I have not posted a video in two weeks, which is insane. I've been so stressed about it, but let me tell you why. I've had the craziest computer issues, so my computer is fine but it wouldn't let me like export a video like i've had i've been vlogging and stuff but it just wouldn't let me like upload a video to youtube and then so i started using my brother's computer and then his computer just completely like went black and like went dead or whatever and then so i got my boyfriend's computer and his computer is so new that it wouldn't let me insert my sd card you have to have like a little external device whatever to insert it anyway it's been crazy i took my computer to apple whatever we got the whole situation fixed i think so yeah i'm back good morning everybody today is wednesday it's currently well it's already eight o'clock which is crazy i got up at like 7 15 and i've just been chilling and relaxing having a slow morning i kind of like ass rolled my face this morning um made myself a water picked up a little bit around the house and now I'm going to make a coffee. So, I'm going to have to make a makeshift coffee because I don't know what's, what's going on. I don't have any milk. So, we're just basically going to have to wing it. So, I'm going to go ahead and put ice in a little cup. Please don't follow this recipe because I don't even know what I'm about to make right now. I literally just got a bunch of random stuff out of my cabinet that I was like, I can make a coffee with that probably without milk and stuff. So we're just going to see how it goes. Okay. I'm going to double espresso dolce. I'm going to bring that in the shot. Obsessed with this little shot glass. Well, I, t I guess it's technically not a shot glass. I think it's like a little teacup glass and it comes with a little saucer. Anyway, my mom has like a set of these of six, I think, and I'm obsessed with them. I stole this from her house and I've been using it for my espresso. I feel like it's the perfect size for the espresso, but my mom has like tons of stuff like that that she's just been gifted over the years from different people or that she's bought. But anyway, I love it and it is the perfect size for my shot. So I'm actually not sure what I'm about to make right now, but I'm just going to do a little makeshift something random. I have this French vanilla sugar-free creamer. Um, not creamer, syrup. So I'm just going to pour some of that in. Last night, I literally went to bed and I was like, I kind of want to try to make like a salted caramel cold foam type thing. Not that this is going to be that, but I'm going to maybe try. So I have some heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to... Pour more than usual just because this is probably going to be what I'm using for my base. And then I have this caramel sauce that I'm just going to pour into that. And this might be weird. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use like flaky sea salt, but I just have table salt. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. And if this is bad, then I'm just going to scrap it. It's not big, it's not a big deal. Okay, so this actually might be the worst thing that I've ever made, but we're just going to wing it. So, cold foam, vanilla, and then double shot of espresso. That's actually really good. Oh my gosh, I actually love it. I kind of like the salt in it too because I love the salted caramel 
cold foam from Starbucks. And that is honestly really good. One of my favorite Starbucks orders is to get espresso over cold foam with vanilla and ice and that's it in a venti cup and this is honestly exactly what that tastes like except for obviously like the salted caramel vibe but it's really really good i really like it one of my favorite things that i've been doing lately like in the morning is getting up super super early for me at least i used to sleep in till like between like 10 and 12 i'd say i used to sleep in between 10 and 12 like every single morning and honestly I've never been the type of person to get up early, but lately I have been getting up between like 7.30 and 8 and going ahead, getting my day started and going on a walk like pretty much immediately when I wake up. Like I'll make a coffee, change, and then go on a walk. And originally I was trying to get like 10K steps in before a certain time, like 9 a.m. Like 10K steps before 9 a.m. But honestly now I don't even really try to hit the 10k it would be nice but I don't like aim for that now I feel like it's more of just a thing where I like to get up because obviously starting your day early makes you have more time during the day and obviously this is not brand new information but for me as somebody who always sleeps in I'm like oh my gosh I can wake up and have exactly what I'm gonna do like wake up make my coffee and go on a walk and it just like wakes me up in the morning it makes me have a purpose for right when I wake up I've just been really enjoying like waking up early I don't know and it's hard to get up but once I'm up I feel so good and I'm so glad I'm up so it's already 8 15 so I've made my coffee I'm gonna go ahead and change and then go on my morning walk I like to walk with my coffee and like Sometimes I will start off just like walking around without my AirPods and I'll just drink my coffee, listen to the birds and like pray or just like be alone like with my thoughts and not have like music in my ears or a podcast in my ears and I'll just walk and it has been so nice. I've enjoyed it so much. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do right now. This coffee is really good. I'm high key impressed. Maybe next time add like a tiny bit less salt, but honestly... It's like perfect. My outfit's absolutely insane right now. And it is such a pretty day. Beautiful weather. Little flowers are looking so good that I planted. I need to water them, but look at all this. Look at all that growth. Like that is so pretty. I'm so proud of myself because I've kept these things alive. I need to pick off some of the like excess dead flowers i try to do that often so i got these little armbands from walmart and i've been wearing these lately to go on my walks i was gonna get the bala ones that everybody's been talking about like on tiktok and stuff but those were a lot more expensive than these were so obviously i was like i'm gonna get these these are low-key kind of annoying to put on by yourself but they're actually pretty comfortable once you get them on, like they don't squeeze you. They're only one pound each, so they're not too heavy. But yeah, I wear these as I'm going on a walk just to give my arms some resistance, I guess. And I don't know, you know, try to get the arms looking nice. My outfit is actually kind of crazy. Um, I just threw something on random. My socks are, I think, what's <laughs> throwing me off. I've got like these high socks on. But, you know, I'm not trying to look cute. I'm just trying to be comfortable and go my morning walk and enjoy it. But, yeah, the sun is actually kind of hot. Usually why I like to, one of the reasons why I like to wake up early and go, which I guess I can go ahead and go. But um, one of the reasons why I like to wake up early and go on my walk is because the sun is not that bad but it's actually pretty bad this morning i'm actually getting a little bit of a later start than i normally do but i want to take y'all down one of the little paths that i walk whenever i'm walking i've kind of like gotten a little routine of where i like to go and there's this little garden that has these really pretty zinnias in it so i want to show you all that
I just got a shower because I was sweating out there and I'm gonna do my skincare but I just literally put on the exact same outfit that I had on this morning that I slept in last night because what else do I have to do today you know what I mean um I am gonna go to town in a little bit but not right now so I'm just wearing this for now but this is literally what has saved my face you know my dermatologist has actually prescribed me this in the past and I did not use it like she said to but I swear this stuff has been my lifesaver so let me show you out my skincare routine so this is what I use and I have really bad breakouts every once in a while and when my breakouts get bad they get really really bad like I've done the whole Accutane thing and I've been off Accutane for years now like probably freaking seven years eight years but recently like within the last maybe two to three years my skin has like random little breakouts really bad especially like in the winter time and I swear it has something to do with the sun like the lack of sun in the winter but let me show y'all what I've been using and my dermatologist told me to use this stuff so it's panoxyl I know everyone uses this but it really does help your acne and I use it even when my skin's clear like my skin is very clear right now and I use this every single day I use it morning and night and then this is what my dermatologist prescribed me as a cream it's called clindamycin and it's a lotion and I just put it all over my face and neck I do this every morning and every night as well and then at night I will use little pea size of tretinoin and sometimes I forget but at least a few times a week I'll use tretinoin and fun fact about tretinoin you're only supposed to use it at night time because if you use it in the day apparently the sunlight deactivates tretinoin which I did not know that until recently but yeah you open up everything it's currently 9 30 and so yeah like officially getting the day started even though I've already lived a lot of life today see that's why I love waking up so early it's just so nice I'm like already showered and now I'm ready to go for the day and I do have this road lip treatment that she dropped whenever she dropped her little pocket blushes I didn't get a blush because I already have blush and I just didn't need one but I did want one of these because I love her lip products. They're literally my favorite. And I also got the glazing milk. So, yeah, this is the shade Shortcake. Yeah, Shortcake. But it really doesn't have much of a tint. It's just like a clear gloss kind of. But, yeah, I am kind of getting hungry. So, I'm going to eat my breakfast that I made last night. I made overnight oats. And I'm going to show y'all kind of how I made it. Um, obviously I made it last night and it sat in the fridge overnight, but I can just tell you how I made it. This is what it looks like, which I usually like to add a little bit more liquid than this. I ran out of milk last night, but it's still pretty creamy. So that's good. Anyway, this is like a strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. This is my favorite recipe and I have strawberries right here that I'm just going to pour on top. So it looks like that but let me show you how i made it so i did you could do either half a cup or a full cup i did a full cup but sometimes i do half a cup so i did a cup of the old-fashioned oats and then i did a cup of the fair life milk this is the fat-free milk the reason i got this is because i saw a girl use this as her milk in her latte in the morning and I was like, oh my gosh, that's kind of genius because this milk has a lot of protein and I have never tried it before. But it says 50% less sugar, 50% more protein. And I like meat a lot. Like I, I eat meat all the time. But sometimes when it's just me by myself, I'm not going to like cook a lot of meat. So I've just noticed about myself that I really don't eat that much protein. So I was like, if I can literally put milk that has a lot of protein in my coffee you know that's just more protein that i can add so anyway i got this milk and um i've been making my overnight oats with it instead of my lattes because i don't know why i just don't love this milk in my latte maybe it's because it's the skim kind i'm not sure but i love it in my overnight oats and it's a good way to get a little bit more protein with breakfast this is what sets it over the top 
So I got this Jello mix. It's the cheesecake flavor. They have a lot of different flavors. They've got like chocolate, they've got vanilla, they've got lemon, like they've got a bunch of different flavors. But anyway, this is the cheesecake kind and it's zero sugar because it's sweet already. So why would you need sugar? I mean, it comes sweet anyway. So I'll just open the little bag. I maybe did like a tablespoon of this. If you like it a little sweeter, I like a tablespoon and a half. I, I just eyeballed it, honestly. But, and then I let it sit overnight in the fridge. And this is what it looks like. And I just add strawberries in the morning. And if you like sweet breakfast, this is a really good option because, you know, the cheesecake makes it sweet. I have been making this a lot the night before I go to work so that, you know, in the morning at work, I can just eat that really quick. And so I've been making it at home too because it's actually really good. I used to think oats were like super bland, but when I started adding that jello packet, the cheesecake, it just like sets it over the top. You can't really beat it. I'm about to give y'all a little sheen haul because I placed an order and I have a few cute things. So let me show y'all what I got. First things first, I got this little shirt that I'm wearing. I thought this looked like Brandy Melville energy. It's just like a little striped gray and white shirt. And I thought it was cute. I thought it was giving Brandy. It was a few dollars. So I was like, I need to get that. And then I got these little huggy hoop earrings, which I thought were so cute. There's like a little diamond row and a little like pink diamond row. Everything on Shane is literally a couple dollars. So it's like, you can't not, but I do try to be really careful on what I order from Shane because I don't want to order stupid stuff, but I do like the stuff I got because I wanted a few like summery things without spending a lot of money. So anyway, I also got these little earrings, dangles. They're so cute. It's like a pearl, like a shell pearl vibe, but they're so pretty. I wore these the other night. I absolutely love them. Something different than like a gold hoop. You know what I mean? So I got those. Um, and then last for jewelry, I got these. These are so fun. I don't know what possessed me to buy this. This looks like something I would have had when I was like a kid or something. But I just feel like these are so fun. And I was thinking in my head like, I'm going to the beach in a couple weeks. So I was like, what if I'm wearing like an all white outfit and then these little earrings, like with all white. I thought that'd be cute. Just like, I don't know, a pop of color, something different, something fun. I don't know, I just thought they were fun and cute. So yeah, I got those, I'm obsessed with them. I also got these little strawberry socks for like a dollar or two. I don't have links to all this, I don't think, but maybe, maybe I can find the links, I don't know, but these are so cute, I'm obsessed with these. And then for clothing, other than obviously the shirt that I'm wearing, yellow shirt, which I thought was so cute and summery. I probably should try these on, but honestly, y'all can probably see me wear these throughout the course of the summer in my vlogs and stuff, but it's got like this little gap right there and it goes open. I thought these would be cute with like white linen pants or something or jean shorts, jean skirt. I don't know, just thought it was so cute. And then this one is a similar shirt to that except for it's purple it's a little bit of a different material and it also has that little button like an opening and then it just like a flare at the bottom something really easy and simple to throw on it's really lightweight so i thought that was cute and then this not really sure about but i thought it'd be cute for the beach so it's basically just a little tube top little blue and white strap tube top stretchy very comfy so i thought that'd be cute for the beach and then this little shirt, I'm not obsessed with because, I don't know, I feel like it's like a bit trendy, but I got this little micro tee with these little cowboy boots on it, and it says Austin, Texas. And I got this originally because on Amazon, I ordered the red checker print boxers, you know, the boxer short trend. And I was like, I need a little like, t-shirt to wear with it like a little mini shirt so i thought that'd be cute together it matched then i got this t-shirt says malibu y'all know i love me some malibu but it's pink and i just thought it was cute it's very stretchy too it's like a interesting material for a t-shirt it's like actually stretchy so 
anyway very comfy and cozy i really like that i can just throw it on and it's just like a cute little tee okay and then lastly for clothing i got this little shirt i think this is a bit small for me but it does stretch um this one's a bit weird and outside of my comfort zone but i specifically got it for summer and like the summer season i think this would be cute with like white pants or something but yeah just a strapless little shirt it's got a little hole right there it like has a cross you probably can't tell because of how it is but there's like a little crossover and anyway i just thought that was really cute for the beach for summer yeah so that's all the clothing i got and then i also got this little shot glass little espresso shot cup so i thought that was really cute and i literally spent like what 30 dollars and i got a lot of stuff so yeah that's my little sheen haul okay apparently my dad's here and he's like probably mowing my grass or something Okay. <laughs> I literally thought it was my neighbor. I was like, why is my neighbor being so loud with his weed eater? But it's my dad. Hey. hey. What's happening? Hey. 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 I just got in the car and I am gonna go run some errands I have to go to CVS and I also have to go to the bank I have to go to Walmart etc so I'm gonna go do that I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog because it's kind of getting into the afternoon right now but um so how about my computers that I thought the Apple store fixed the other day apparently neither computer decided to get fixed because i just tried to turn both of them on neither one of them will turn on they're completely black and i'm very stressed about it because i have videos that i've recorded and i can't upload them so i don't really know what i'm gonna do about that but i'll figure it out i need to call the apple store today and get it all taken care of or whatever but yeah thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and stay tuned for all the summer videos it's gonna be very exciting all the summer content is coming very soon apparently i need to get gas as well so yeah thank y'all for watching love you all and i'll see y'all in my next video bye